Hi friends. We're enjoying some very tranquil, warm, sunny afternoons here in Arizona. We're currently at uh, Senator's Wash. And uh, I'll do a 360 for you here. Beautiful lake. Gentle purr of a generator over there. He's using a electric clipper to give himself a haircut. I go for my morning walks and uh, this really tall guy keeps following me around. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I like walking up to the top of the hill here in the morning. It's quiet. You can hear the birds. I hear a woodpecker down there somewhere working on a hole in a tree. I should get up earlier in the morning and get some of the wonderful uh, sunrises. Some of the sunsets that I posted back at Christmas time that are incredible came from here. That's our little camp down there. Uh, Aja, John, Lynn, Jerry, Linda, Tony, Rady. This is the north shore of Senator's Wash, Imperial Dam. You probably can't see it in the picture, but over there on those hills across the lake are hundreds of RVers in a long-term visitor area. Our group is uh, scattered out all the way down to that far point, uh, probably a dozen of us in a dozen rigs. It's beautiful up here. It's tranquil. One of our favorite spots in Arizona. Oh, there's that guy again. That guy follows me all over the place. I just can't get rid of him. What did I say about tranquil? It's the weekend and all of the noise machines come out to destroy our tranquility. You know, we are next to the proving grounds. Always a lot of big explosion things going on over there. Hmm, I wonder, maybe I'll call in a favor from an ex-employer. You know, the only real problem with those loud jet skis is that I don't have one. <laughs> but that little bit of sweet revenge felt good. Uh, here's a coincidence. We have some friends from Yuma named Robin Sue. And Robin Sue came out here to the North Shore of Senator Wash and um, in the dark found a camp spot, parked, and didn't realize they were next to us until the next morning. Anyway, uh, Rob has this toy. Let's take a look at that. What is, what is this I'm looking at? A one wheel? Well, I can see it's got one wheel. Is it electric? It's electric. It goes. I don't know. It's an electric skateboard? Electric skateboard. Dang, you're missing two wheels. <laughs> you know, I went from two to three for safety. What the hey? Yeah, I could go backwards, but I'm afraid to. I'm not that good at it yet. You can like how do you how do you control the speed? You just, you just lean forward on it. You go. Oh my gosh! And so, does it have brakes? Yes, it has brakes. So you lean back and it brakes. Oh my gosh! Aha! Uh -huh. Well, that almost got too exciting for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe not sandals. Not sandals. Uh, of course, I know 
you're a big time California surfer boy though, right? Huh? Just, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. He's actually famous, isn't he? Oh yes. Okay, okay well. I just dusted myself out. Okay, well, thank you for showing me. Uh, we're going to take a ride. You want to go along? Let's go. How fast can you go? Faster than you want to. Really? Whoa. Okay, I found a new toy for you guys. Oh, when do you see this? Look at this truck. It's coming. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Holly. Holly. Oh, get on the back. Oh. She's grounded. Oh, she's grounded? Come on. Come on. What'd she do? She ate the bar. Oh, she ate, ate the Oh, yeah. And got the bobber? Ooh. Have you guys been catching anything? Uh, Jake, he wants to know what all you got. Go. Catfish. Catfish. I saw one yesterday. It's like this. So far, they did catfish. I know they have carp, but I don't. So, is that going to be your next purchase? No, I went from two wheels to three for a reason. Well, I thought maybe you were going to get lit on. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I don't think so. I'm just, um... But it's me. I've seen those before. Right? Yeah? It doesn't do very good out here. There's too many rocks. Rock. So yeah, I, that's should, not. I should be wearing shoes. Huh? Well, hey. Good luck fishing, Jake. Thanks, guys. Well, uh, you know what? It's better than sitting in a campfire doing nothing but talking. There you go. Yeah. Although yes. the barber, that's the one that caught it last night with the moon. The bait is only about three feet below the barber. Yeah. But the, but the catfish in the bottom, you see the, something up there. And the catfish went up and got it. Really? We used to go catfishing in really fairly deep water, like 30 feet. But it was crystal clear up in Oregon. And we could see them. They weren't catfish. They were yellow-bellied bullheads. But we could see them down there, and we'd move our lure or worm around to get the big one <laughs> okay see you guys later no uh, you know i went uh i asked about going steelhead fishing when i moved to oregon uh, the guy said oh yeah i'm the best seal fed fisherman here i said how many did you catch he said i got two last year this year. I grew up catching the buckets full of crops. And we're going fishing where you get two. What's, what's wrong with that fishing? picture? That's fishing. I yeah. like catching. It's a participation. <laughs> you need to put a chair on that thing. A squeaky break. Might have a rock, rock uh, pebble on it or something. I don't know. Oh, a break. Like dust? Uh, probably dust. 
Well, come on down whenever. I think dinner's ready. like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today